thick thighs may save lives, but they tear up our jeans. Keep watching this video so I can help you save your jeans. Alright guys, we all have those favorite pair of jeans that we have worn. They still look good, but the inner thigh area is starting to give out on us. Now these are a pair of work jeans for me, so I know they're not going to be in perfect condition, but I feel like I still got at least 4 or $5 worth of wear out of these jeans. <laughs> so instead of throwing your jeans away, wash them, dry them, and you want to get an iron out and iron the area that is affected. Now we all know we love our curves, but the reality is our thighs touch and the material is just not gonna last that long. So sometimes you have to add some reinforcement. So here I'm seeing how wide of the distressed area I have. And I wanna make sure that I repair that area so it doesn't continue to spread. So I stopped at my local Walmart and I got some of these iron on repair patches. They come in all colors, black, dark brown, khaki, navy, whatever. I got the denim wash. And as you see, the inside of the patch is shiny because that's your adhesive. And the outside of the patch is denim. Now, you can use these on the outside of your jean, but to me, they hold better when they're on the inside and they're less visible. So now I'm just taking my patch, laying it on the area that I know I want to repair and I'm kind of measuring it out. I remember the area that is affected and, and starting to rear. So now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut this patch to match that area. If you wanna get fancy and get a measuring tape and take a pen and mark it, you definitely can, but it's so simple because you're going to use more patch than area. So just overestimate. Now, both sides have been, can be used, but one side is very straight where I cut it. The other side is rounded. I'm going to put the straightest side against my seam. Now, I'm just making sure that that distressed area is as flat and ironed as possible. And I want to make sure that hole is as closed as possible. Now, I'm laying my iron on patch down against my seam. And I'm going to take my iron and I am going to press down and iron for dear life. Because we already know we got hips and curves and our jeans are stretched to hug every inch. So you want to make sure that this iron on patch is as secure as possible. I can get, I know, a good 8 to 10 wears out of my jeans with this iron on patch. So $2.00. To be able to wear your jeans another three, four months before you have to buy another pair, you can't beat that. And y'all know I'm all for saving money. So once you've ironed it for at least 30 seconds, you let it cool for a full minute, and this iron-on patch is not going anywhere. You see, I'm stretching it, and I'm putting it through the wringer to show you guys it's going to stay. So now I'm going to turn these jeans right side out again. And y'all ignore my ironing board. It's time for a new one, but hey, it still irons. So here, I'm gonna show you the left leg that has not been repaired. You can still see my finger. That's not what you want. Now, I'm gonna show you the right leg that has been repaired. And you see it still has some wear, but now my finger can't go through anymore, which means my special inner thigh meat won't go through that area. This is what you want. So again, these are a pair of jeans that I wear to the salon. It's got bleach stains, color stains, whatever, but I can't wear them because my thigh meat was poking out the, the torn area. But this is how you repair it, guys. $2 for these iron-on patches from Walmart. And I cut the patches um, in two. So you really probably could get three repairs, depending on how big your area is. 
out of that two dollars so now I'm gonna show you how to repair the opposite side and it looks to me like this side is a little more worn than the first area that I repaired but the steps are gonna be the exact same you're gonna lay your jean out try to get everything smooth get your iron out and iron that area so all the material lays flat all of those strings and elastic lay flat okay then you get your iron on patch and you measure it out now this is still the first patch that means I have a whole nother patch that I did not cut I'm measuring it out and again this area is bigger than the other side so I am going to use a wider section of iron on patch but I still need to cut this patch and then I'm gonna take the side that I cut and match it up with my seam on my jean make sure everything is as flat as possible because this is gonna touch your thigh so you want to make sure nothing is buckled that can also kind of affect how long this patch stays so once I have everything aligned everything looks how it needs to look double triple check because once you iron it there is no taking this off sis it does not come off as easily as you would think which is good because that means it'll last I've got it measured and I'm gonna press this iron down like my life depends on it I don't want this patch popping out in the middle of a work day or while I'm wearing this jean so I'm gonna seal all of the sides of this iron on patch now I am just going to iron I'll let my iron sit again I don't know why we think this wiggle makes it hold more but <laughs> whatever works and so just making sure you have enough heat making sure that all of your adhesive on the opposite side of your patch has been activated so it can really grab onto that material and stay and I'm ironing this side a little longer because the patch is bigger and the hole was bigger so I just want to be extra sure one more time for the one time wait one minute to cool all right I'm back this iron on patch on this side is cool all right so we turned our jeans right side out so we can see what they look like from the outside and there you have it nice even material all the gaps are covered so these jeans are now wearable again and of course my baby wanted to make a debut everybody say hi to the robo car so once you repair your jeans, you can now wear them without having to worry about that embarrassing thigh meat poking out. This is what you need. All right, Dylan, one more time and bye. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy. Don't throw your jeans away. Go get you some iron on patches and repair them. Hope you guys enjoy. Hi, guys. Bye, guys. See you next time.